Near at four, the pandemic has created an unexpected problem for the deaf and hard of hearing. That's because masks block lip movements and facial expressions, which are key traits deaf people use to understand you. The good news is, though, there is a solution to this as we all work to rebound together. Chief investigative reporter Eric Ross joins us live with how one local advocacy center is helping bridge communication barriers. Eric. Allison, good afternoon. With a partnership within the Pikes Peak Community Foundation, the Independence Center is going to be giving out free face shields in clear masks like the one you see right here. They say it's instrumental in helping deaf people and people who are hard of hearing communicate while staying safe. Rebecca Hall is wearing what's considered to be a game changer for the deaf community. It's a face mask similar to the ones you see in doctor's offices, but they contain a see-through film strip so that others can read your lips. I'm now being contacted by deaf and hard of hearing people in multiple other states saying, I wish we had this option all the way back when the pandemic started. Now you won't find them in just any neighborhood store, which is why Thursday and Friday, the Independence Center will be passing them out for free to anyone who is deaf, hard of hearing, or works with someone who is. According to the Colorado Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, more than 46,000 Coloradans are deaf, another 400,000 are hard of hearing. And for this group of people, 93% of communication is nonverbal, which means when you're communicating, you are observing lips. Rebecca says in an era where most people are wearing face masks to protect themselves from COVID-19, communicating has been a bit of a struggle. A good example is, think about going grocery shopping and you're ready at the line to check out with your food and the cashier says, hey, did you find everything okay? I have no idea that person is trying to communicate with me. I can't see their lips move. And then that person there is thinking I'm ignoring them. The Independence Center is making appointments right now for you to come and pick up a face mask or shield. Rebecca hopes this movement will gain some traction and become more popular as we weather the pandemic together. Just by wearing a mask that allows me to lip read, allows me to know you want to have a conversation with me, you're already showing, hey, I understand other people exist. And if face masks aren't your thing, the Independence Center also has these clear face shields. It looks like you're about to go catch some honeybees with it. It's almost like a spit guard so that when you sneeze, particles don't spread to other people around you. They'll be passing these out for free as well. Again, they have clear masks for both adults and children available beginning Thursday. We walk you through how to set up an appointment through the Independence Center on our website. Just head to KOAA.com. This story is on our homepage. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm Eric Ross.